Hello, welcome to another vlog. Um, you would have just seen me, I think, making up my little um, fresh flowers for the week. Today is a Wednesday. It's very much an at-home week. I mean, we're in a lockdown, so <laughs> can't really do anything else. But yeah, I've got a very busy week or two coming up because obviously Cyber Week starts in, God, how long now? Probably like 10 days. So I have a lot of work to get done for that. Um, and I'm trying to be really organized this year and get everything done, probably like two or three days before it starts so that I don't have to stress about it. Um, I'm gonna say right off the bat, I'm on a new camera. I really like it, but there is one thing that is very, very annoying and it is that the viewfinder is right here. So if I was to look at myself, that's where I'm looking, where I need to look into the lens. Just stuck you on the table because my eyes were literally dying. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the viewfinder is here, whereas my other camera, the viewfinder was like above, above the screen, I mean the lens, so if I looked at myself, you guys wouldn't know, um, whereas now I literally can't look over here the whole vlog, because you all know you, so um, I'm going to just say sorry if I do that, but I'm trying to get used to it, and um, hopefully I won't do it all the time, so today I need to go film some videos, some fashion videos, and just kind of take it chilled, so much stuff for Christmas, I mean, that's such an exaggeration though. A few bits of my Christmas things have arrived. So my tree is here and my garlands and my lights are here. Still need to order some bobbles for the tree, but um, I can maybe show you some of the bits that I picked up and then next week's vlog, I think, will be putting the tree up. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you this thing that came through. Let me get it. I got some crystals. So I don't know how many of you are into crystals and um, enjoy them, but I've always used them and had them in my house and in my bags and my mum got me into them when I was a child she always gave us um like rose quartz and things to have next to the bed and so I just they're so comforting for me to have around the house I was on Instagram and somebody shared this company and I checked it out and it's so so nice so the company is called Beau Marie I think they do um this is a little branding I think they do like jewel yeah what says jewelry and crystals i obviously didn't get any jewelry i'm not one for jewelry crystals but i really like crystals in general so i picked a few up just to see how they'd be and they arrived and i was like these are beautiful i've already opened one thing but i wanted to keep the rest just to show you how how they all came they came all packaged beautifully and like in this all individually wrapped and then in this one it's like a little bag and i just think they're gorgeous i think they're just a really lovely present for someone so i'm going to open them with you so i got two of these little rose quartz like towers and um, they come in different sizes i think i've got the medium they come in small extra large large medium i'm pretty sure and um, but i thought this was a really nice size so i got one for me and one for johnny my one is already next to my bed downstairs um we have rose quartz everywhere in the house we have it in the kitchen in our offices in the bedroom um it's probably just my favourite stone. Moroccan quartz, a big geode, geode, how do you say it? Um, I thought that would just be really, really nice. Somewhere in the house, um, it's lovely, it's so, so pretty. And the final thing I got was this little ball. I think you can buy this ball separately and then obviously your crystal separately, but on the website they had the option to buy them together. I just had the rose quartz in this little ball, which I thought was super cute. So the ball is made of selenite which is a purifying, cleansing, and amplifying crystal. I just thought it was gorgeous, like for my office, maybe even on this coffee table once I've dressed it. Um, yeah, I just think it's lovely. I think it's super cute. And then in that was a rose quartz cluster. So I got a little heart um, and then just like a kind of polished one and then a rough cut stone as well. Super, super nice. So I'm really, really loving that company. I will leave them down below because I think they're beautiful Christmas presents for people as well. Anyway, I have got to stop procrastinating. I am gonna go and film some bits and bobs and I will see you all later. Yeah, what, mate? So we went to a park, well, we went to Battersea Park today, which was really nice. Who are you talking? And um, Johnny got a bit distracted in the middle of a conversation and he completely lost his train of thought. And I was like, oh, what's he doing? And I looked ahead and there was these two very fit, gorgeous girls running in front of me. And I was like, that is so rude. Well, they were fit. Well, their bodies were really fit. Their booties. I didn't see their faces, but yeah, he got very obviously, he was talking, talking, and then he went, <laughs> and just like started being all weird. And I was like, oh, you're literally looking at females. That's so rude. Anyway, this is from a company called, called Amaran, Amaran. Yeah, what's that? Amaranth. Go try and pronounce that. Amaranth. Read it. Amaranthia blues. This is what it looks like. Um, I have some flowers, actually I think the exact same stems over on the lounge hole. They're faux hydrangeas. I just really like them, so I thought I'd get another bunch. 
for either my office or maybe the bedroom. I'm not really sure yet, but I like the faux flowers around the house. Especially for upstairs, because I don't ever have real ones up there. Actually, I'll show you the other ones I have. So the other ones I had from my office in my old house. I have them here now, but I never managed to get the right vase for them. So you can probably tell, like, they're just very kind of spread out. And that vase I just picked up from HomeSense when I got them. But then I went on the website and I saw they had them, well, the vase that they had pictured them in, they had for sale. So I got that. How pretty that is. I think that's so nice. Do you like it? Lovely, yeah. It's a nicer vase than the other one. It actually, like, holds them upright. Okay, I'm really happy with that. So I'm pretty sure you buy these stems individually. I can't remember. Um, yeah, really happy. Okay, next is the White Company. It's my garlands for the stairs. Um, I'm really excited to have garlands up in the stairs because since I left home, I've never had... Like, I've always lived in, like, flats. And then the last house we were in, the stairs were like too close to the wall to have a garland so now we have like the big open staircase in this lounge i think it will look really really nice i hope so anyway but the first i got okay this is all like recommended together so the first thing was just these lights to wrap around the garlands there's only half my order okay. yeah okay so this is only half my order the other half must still be coming so this is the style of garland that i went for so it's like this really gorgeous kind of like Belly, belly, <laughs> berry and like ivy. No, what would you call it? What have they called it? Oops. Green and berry garland. I think it looks so pretty. Um, it's obviously got like the wood kind of, can you see? Natural kind of like stems all the way around and then the garland greenery. So I'm gonna basically wrap around some lights on there and then tie it on with like fishing wire, I think, onto the stairs. What box should I do next? You want to grab one, honey? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm doing something. My parcel opening section was a lot less exciting than I thought it was going to be because a lot of it I can't show you until the next video. Okay, so I'm going to open this one now, which is the lamp, which Johnny will have. Pajamas. What pajamas? These pajamas have. They're cute. They're yeah, they have seen them. Guys. Lovely. Do a camera roll and show. Why don't you turn the, turn the lens around? Well, you can see, you like to see yourself. This is a terrible angle. Is it? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Unboxing with Nadia. Don't you Nadia make yourself useful. Nadia and your home. How is the lamp fitting in here? Seriously. How does a Christmas tree fit in there? That's what I want to know. This is as much as a surprise to me. This is a seven foot Christmas tree. This is a much of a surprise to me as when the Simba mattress came. In a box. Well, in the box. tree's obviously packaged into sections, but this is meant to be quite a hefty lamp. And you're actually going to stand there and watch me do it. As opposed to what? Help. I am helping, I'm filming Set you. Set it up and help me. I can't do that. That's not something I can do right now. Um, it's been a little while since I spoke to you guys. Um, I think this vlog was a little bit boring at the start. I'm pretty sure. There wasn't much happening. I've just finished doing my makeup and I'm about to do my hair. And I thought I may as well vlog it in this because I'm getting so many questions over on Instagram about how I do my hair. Um, and I do already have lots and lots. Well, not lots. I think I have like two or three videos up already showing you guys how I do it. But um, yeah, I thought I may as well. I'll just show you again. So I'm going to be using this curler and talking you through it, but before I do, I want to just finish off a little bit of my makeup and also show you some very cute things that came in from By Terry. This set is called the Best Of Set, which is a very, very good name because it's all the amazing products, like all the hero products they do. Inside this one, there is the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. There is an Ombre Black Star in the color Bronze Moon, which is gorgeous. I'll put it on now and show you. The Lash Expert Twist Brush Mascara, which is so, so good. And then the Balm de Rose in the little, I have one anyway, because I always use it. It's the Balm de Rose, but in the kind of like lip gloss dispenser. So rather than it being like the little pot, which I still really like, but I do find it sometimes a little bit annoying if my nails are too long. Um, this is just really, really good 
to pop on. I'll put a little bit on. Smells like rose, obviously. Uh, it's super, super hydrating. And I also really like, it doesn't have any colour in it, but it kind of has this almost like whitey, glossy sheen, which I love. Um, so this is a really good one if someone really likes the brand and wants to try out a few more pieces from it or a very good present to yourself just to kind of like try a few of the products. So I'm going to pop on a little bit of the Ombre Black Star. This one is in Bronze Moon. If you're like me and are terrible at doing eyeshadow, like I literally, I, I'm terrible. All I can do is like one colour and then kind of blend it and hope for the best. Um, but these are so, so good. I have quite a few of the colours. Actually, I have another one somewhere i did see it this morning let me grab it this one is in the color sunny flash i'll show you them on so sunny flash and then and then bronze moon but they are creamy eyeshadows which is really handy i didn't actually show you it they look like this just kind of like little really creamy crayons and um so on my hand the top darker one is the bronze moon and then this one is the sunny flash so usually this is the one i wear day to day if i'm putting on eyeshadow and then this one's just a really gorgeous kind of darker color really, really nice <laughs> really really nice for like the festive season so the way i do this a super super easy way is i literally just draw on as much as i want probably about that much Make sure I'm getting in the corner. And then I just take a little fluffy brush and I just blend it. And because it's so, so creamy, it blends out really, really nicely. I've just blended it in. Um, I probably need to tidy that up a little bit, but it's just super, super easy. And it's just a really nice way to apply eyeshadow, in my opinion. There's no like fallout as well, which is something I really struggle with. Is um, If I'm using powders, if I try and like kind of layer them or use a color that isn't skin tone i always get like a little bit of dusting down here um so this just kind of takes that away and it's just really really easy so i'm just rubbing it drawing it on these two would be these two would be gorgeous layered together as well i'd probably do like the lighter one all over and then a little bit of the darker one on the outside so again i'm gonna just blend it so so nice just anything this easy to do with your eyes, I love. Okay, so that was all that was in that one. It's, oh my God, oh, I thought my curtain was on. <laughs> um, it's just a really, really gorgeous little set again for someone else or for yourself. I think it's a really lo lovely little present. And then the most exciting part is this limited edition highlighter by Terry. Do the most beautiful packaging. I actually, have I? Yes, here, have I? Yes. This is a palette that I have for my, uh, it's like a highlight and blush palette, but look how beautiful that is so they always do really gorgeous um packaging but at christmas time it's amazing so this is the twinkle glow cc highlighter limited edition as i said so it's in the shade candlelight glow look at this how stunning is that oh my goodness i'm obsessed and then inside is this highlighter which is so beautiful this is my kind of highlighter it's nothing um like too colored or anything it's just a really gorgeous like very natural highlight i'm going to just take a little brush like this dip it in and then i go over only really with highlighter on my cheekbones and then a little bit on the end of my nose i don't really know that's probably where everyone puts it <laughs> okay can you see that it's so beautiful. And then I'll just put a teeny weeny bit on the end of my nose. Just makes it look really cute. And oh, I just love it. So as I said, this is limited edition. So I will leave everything down below. Um, the gift sets and also this. But I am just in love. This is such a perfect present. Like to me, from me. Can you imagine in a restaurant like topping up your makeup and like pulling that out? <gasps> I just love it it's beautiful um so that's everything i have to show you as i said i will leave everything down below of course um and now i'm going to jump on to doing my hair because it needs done before i can proceed with the day <laughs> so i've washed and dried my hair um i let it air dry as much as possible i think that's actually quite a key factor in doing my hair I don't know if everyone else finds that, but if I dry it from soaking wet with a hair bra uh, a hair dryer, it just doesn't look as good. I'm sectioning like that, and I'm going to just clip this bit back. So the curler I use is the Babyliss, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember, I always forget the name of it. It's £40, it is the best curler I've ever used in my life, I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to just um, start at the back, 
I'm going to time lapse this, guys. I'm not going to make you sit and watch me curl my hair for 20 minutes. Taking a little section, wrap it around the barrel like normal, but the key is to leave a chunk out. So what's that? Probably about two inches? Yeah, about two inches I'm leaving out. Yeah. Um, and that is how I get my hair the way I get it. If I curl it all the way to the end, it just doesn't look the same. So you have to leave that section out. Um, and I also think doing that, yeah, then I just, just throw it to the back and forget about it until the next step. Love leaving the ends up because I feel like it keeps the length on your hair. You know when you curl your hair, you kind of lose like an inch because it's curled. But when you leave the ends out, it, you still keep your length, which is really nice. So again, I'm just leaving it out at the bottom. I do all of this side the same way, all of the other side the same way. So away from my face on both sides. Okay, can you see? It's just a very, very loose curl. <laughs> and then I'm just doing the next piece. And yeah, I'm gonna time lapse you because there's nothing else to talk about. There's no more instructions, this is it. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it. I can already see bits that need topped up like that, but I'm gonna leave it and just do the other side So exactly The same as I did on this side away from my face and my camera just died by the way So I'm on a different camera <laughs> the one I was on at the start of this vlog So I'm gonna try and look at you guys. Um, okay, so this is done now. Can you see like here it needs topped up? Let me put my mirror There so I need to just recurl that one basically like bits and bobs before I go on to the next section so I go there kind of just look where I think like here is kind of flat so I'm gonna just take a little bit there and maybe that little bit the nice thing about this hairstyle as well is it's super kind of chilled so it doesn't have to look perfect um okay so that is the base layer now i do spray it with a little bit of hairspray this is just a l'oreal Elnit stronghold volume <laughs> um i'm not fussy about hairspray though at all so i'm going to just give it a little spritz and then i'm going to take my clip from the top and clip that back actually no i'm not because that clip's quite harsh just gonna pin it back with my hair bubble. Oh, it's in my mouth. And then do the top section. So just splitting it into two. And the exact same again. So back section, leave a section out, and do yeah, do the exact same. Sometimes doing my hair I can do it so quick other times it takes me forever so that is it and I'm gonna take it down and kind of position so this hairstyle always whenever I try and film it for you guys once I take it all down I'm like oh, it looks so bad but I know now that it's just because it takes like five ten minutes for it to kind of like sit into place and then like drop so it won't look this curly in a minute can you see already like under here just doesn't look right so I'm gonna just go back through like I did before and just kind of take a few pieces I think need a little top up can you hear that rain outside 
Oh my gosh. It is a miserable day. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really kind of a trial and error. Just look around, see what you think. Could do with a little bit more curl. Okay, I think that's pretty good. But now you kind of need to like not do all the handy things and annoy your hair just leave it and um i'm gonna come back in probably like 10 minutes so it's actually probably like 20 minutes later um i went and got a snack so this is how it looks so now if i can find it i'm gonna just spritz a little bit of hairspray on not much that is how i do my hair every day i just really like it it's really like loose curls not too perfect um i'll show you from the back <laughs> and yeah i just really like it i think already because it's because it's not like curl curls it's like waves when it drops out throughout the day it never looks bad it kind of adds to the style and um yeah that is literally what i do to my hair every day so i am having such a nightmare with my computer trying to free up storage and ugh, i hate technology so that's basically what today's plan is i also have to do a bit of work um still this afternoon so i need to film some stuff and um tidy up <laughs> but yeah that is basically everything so yeah i will probably catch you later i realize i never actually showed you guys the lamp yesterday so it's dark outside so it's not very good lighting but this is how it looks i think it's really cute um i still don't like this tv unit but johnny is insistent on it but i think the lamp balances out how dark this is in the room which is really nice um, and then over on the windowsill, I took away the dried bouquet because it just kind of felt like it was too neutral and like getting lost in here. So then I have this little arrangement. So this is a Zara diffuser and a Zara candle. I can't remember if I've shown you guys this before, but it is super, super nice. And I think for both of these, it was like a hundred pounds, but like that is huge. Can you see? No. <laughs> It's a very big diffuser, I promise. Um, and then on here we have some books. And then this little arrangement and vase is from... Um, oh, I showed you at the start of the video. So yeah, I think it looks really, really cute. So now I am waiting on my dinner being cooked by my slave. <laughs> yes, honey? No, honey. <laughs> Johnny's cooking us a chicken. Whole roasted chicken. I've brined it for 24 hours. Air dried it for an hour. And it's trust. It's upside down. He's never actually done this this before though, right? I like, can't really take too much credit for it because Aaron has literally been telling me everything to do. Yeah, Johnny's so got a friend have, who's a very, very good cook. I have no idea to cook a whole roast chicken upside down so the juices are all I'm not going to lie, like yesterday, it, it was, what would you call it? Marinating in brine? Brining? Yeah, it was brining. Yeah, it was going through the brining process. It was in this like... If anyone doesn't you dissolve know dissolve water into salt into water and then you add all the herbs so garlic herbs bay leaves and you leave it in there for 24 hours of much looked like a chicken being locked in a little tiny swimming pool it was disgusting with like stuff flying around in the bowl like peppercorns <laughs> white peppercorns yeah. <laughs> anyway i'm sure it'll be nice so that's what we're doing tonight i am exhausted God, I thought it was Tuesday there. Um, I'm just editing this vlog back and realised I didn't actually end it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Everything I showed you guys or mentioned in this vlog will be linked down below as per usual. So if you want to um, get anything, just head down there. And, yeah, I think that's it. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.